Yo, what's up everyone? It's your boy! Welcome back to another video. Today's video is gonna be on, in my opinion, in my opinion, the number one deck that nobody's talking about. This deck is ridiculous. I just finished second place at the LCS. And that is Megalith. This deck is absolutely amazing. I'm gonna show you guys a quick combo right now. And I'm gonna show you guys the uh, exact same deck list that the person who finished second place used. And this combo is ridiculous. Okay, it's two card combo. I'm gonna show you this right now. Before we do though, before we do, you can only do this combo on a two lecture cloth playmat, baby. Let's go! Here, two lecture my cloth playmat right now, boys. It is the best cloth mat in the game. Feels beautiful. You got like, like fan out like 60 cards on it. You can see every card. Absolutely beautiful playmat. Huge fan of it. Uh, so go check it out on tripgaming.com down below. And if you guys want to learn more about pendulums, which is the best deck on the planet, which is not megaliths, check out my training down below on my Patreon. And with that being said, I'm going to show you guys right now Megaliths, which is, like I said, the number one most not talked about best deck that no one's talking about right now in Yu-Gi-Oh. Let's go. So this is a two-card combo. You're using uh, Megalith, you formed and Phalag. I'm pretty sure you could use, like, different forms of the combo. It's not specifically just these two. Any hand does it, really. It's just those two specific cards to show you, like, a quick two-card combo. Any hand does it. And it's one of those decks that can play with a little bit. And yes, it plays Block Dragon as well. This is a two-card combo. Imagine that everything else, you know? It's like... This deck is absolutely amazing. This guy, like I said, for in second place at the LCS with it. They just keep going on. Like, don't worry. I know, I'm sure you guys are lost right now. Don't worry. So am I. I <laughs> like, yeah, this deck is difficult. It plays one emancipated researcher. You search out the block dragon. And the deck just goes off. It's a very difficult deck to learn. But it's a deck that's just remarkable. It shows you that what one card could do. If this is too fast of a commentary for you guys, it's a long video. I don't want to be a long video, so you can just pause the video. Or you could uh, check this out. So, need a five or bring a I'm gonna show you guys the end combo. So, on the opponent's turn, so this, you, you end on Savage Dragon just to protect the fiber. On the opponent's turn, you go Needle Fiber Effect to uh, bring out Formula. This is on the opponent's turn. And then, because you bring out Gamma specifically, you go Formula, Gamma, and the Block Dragon. Uh, well, you draw one. And then you go into, uh, sorry, in, and the Savage, not the Block Dragon. You go into this card, Hot Red Dragon, Arch Fiend Calamity. And what it does, your opponent can activate cards for the rest of this turn. And even if your opponent has a response to the needle fiber it stops the fiber or the formula from resolving you also have this card which is broken and that is uh magician of black chaos max and this card is special summon you tribute a monster your opponent cannot activate monster for the rest of this turn like it's crazy bro and you have a savage to protect the needle fiber so you have a you, you need like an impermanent availer to stop the fiber and even then you can still summon a chaos max and then chaos max basically does the same thing it's as a thought for your opponent so this is a very 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 good deck this they just plus that much with two cards and they're ending on calamities and chaos max which is as a thought and which is Zexel. so you get Zexel and as a thought like <laughs> that with two cards it's ridiculous what this deck does and it's not just any two cards it's any random combination in the deck it's not those specifically those two cards so big shout out to lundrity velen for finishing second place at the lcs with this deck uh, it's absolutely amazing. No one thought it was really good, but the new support they got from the new set makes it amazing I'm gonna show you guys the deck profile now. This is the deck profile of the list up in a second place Extremely powerful. I'm going to be taking my time for you guys to learn this deck inside and out Because as you guys saw that by that by that combo that combo is legit And it's a deck that we need to look out for starting right now So as a pendulum player, obviously there are many ways to stop that uh, you, as long as you stop the fiber or the calamities from resolving, you still resolve your spell cards. And Chaos Max, it does stop all your monster effects, but at least you get Mighty Master. So, uh, I will do so much research for you guys so you know how to defeat this. So, stay tuned for a video coming soon on how to destroy Megalith. But as for now, most people are going to be going by this guy's list. This guy finished second place at the LCS, like I said. So, most people will just copy his list. So, as you guys see, this is a list over here. Play around this list because most people just use this card for card. So, you got Emancipated Researcher and Block Dragon. You just play this because Block Dragon you can search with Gal and Granite once you get two uh, level fours out, which is very easy to do in this deck. Extremely easy. Mandrew Sendrew, the level four, Megalith level fours. And you, you add a, a Researcher and two more uh, Ritual cards to combos with. You play one Candle and one Talos Mandra. Uh, it's good as well because of the Chalice Lime, and uh, you could search whatever you want with some of the uh, other cards like Preparation Rights. You could search this. So you do, it kind of synergizes together. So incantations, you only play one of these. I've seen another list that plays two other incantation cards in the deck, but uh, mo go mostly by this deck. Uh, so decks that play, ritual decks that play like 20 incantation cards, uh, you'll, you'll, you could plan your interruptions accordingly, that this deck will only play these two, 
and the ritual one. Uh, you can play triple Manju, double Senju. Uh, Senju only searches ritual monster, whereas Manju searches ritual spell or monster. You obviously don't want to clog with too many normal summons. So there's five normal summon, I think it's a great number. Six is also debatable, but five is good here. Also, you normal summon, but you can't play Gamma, but you need to play Gamma because it's part of the combo calamities. And most, with the exception of the five normal summons, all these cards activate in the hand or spell cards. So Gamma gets still resolve. So uh, it's very good, uh, just like that. I am surprised he's not playing a, a, a Omega in case Gamma actually comes up. But uh, in a deck like this, you can obviously just go into Fiber, so it's probably just better. Uh, I was thinking more so for my deck, which, you know, doesn't play <laughs> doesn't play Fiber. But you go through that, so it's solid, uh, like, offensively. Uh, you play one Cyber Angel Benton. You play Triple Chalice Lime. I saw another list that does not play Benton. I saw a list that does not play Chaos Max as well. But seeing as it's the second place white LCS deck list, uh, you should go with this list. And Chaos Max is a gigantic part of this deck. You could literally Fiber and Chaos Max, which is amazing. So uh, you play one Chaos Max, which is a huge part of the deck. You play uh, double uh, Megalith Aerotron, you play double Megalith Berthor, you play triple Megalith Haggith, one Megalith Och, triple Megalith Ophiel, and one Megalith Phalag, and then triple Megalith Fools. This is a lot of Megalith cards, uh, but the Megalith cards are extremely powerful. Uh, just a lot of you guys don't know what they do, but just to sum up what most of the Megalith cards do, the new ritual, card, ritual cards, they essentially... Ritual summon themselves as ritual spells, essentially, and they all get effects on ritual summon. So it's just plus, 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 plus. Uh, similar to how Necros plus like crazy, but uh, this plus is even more. There are no Necros cards in here, but I could see how Necros actually could help out. He's played Triple Extra Foolish Burial, which is completely understandable and very good because of uh, Herald. Uh, he is not playing the Dragma cards. Playing Dr Mac Dragma Maximus is debatable because Maximus will literally let you send double Herald. And if you get two ritual cards, this deck could go off. But because everybody's playing Dragma, I assume that's the reason he's not playing Maximus. In a random format, let's say a later format where no one plays Dragma, or let's say, for example, they like ban Ecclesia or something along those lines, I'm sure Megalith will see a lot of play in ritual decks like this. Uh, he's playing one Incantation Ritual, uh, which you can search, one Megalith Portal, uh, triple Megalith uh, Unformed. This card is just absolutely broken. The fact that it's a quick play spell is crazy. And triple Preparation of Rights. This deck is like extremely powerful, guys. That's the main deck. 44, I guess, to uh, change up the cards. So you don't have to draw like, like the same thing all the time. Uh, also, to fit in the gamma, which you need for a combo. And I'm sure there's lots of combos you need in this deck. You need definitely like triple a lot of these cards as well. Uh, uh, side deck, double Ghost Hogger, triple Sphere Mode. Sphere Mode is an interesting meta call, but you'll definitely be thinking out the normal summons when you put in Sphere Mode. Triple Dark Ruler, triple Exorcist, Unic Encore. You definitely plays Encore for the Zexal. Triple Evenly and Red Reboot. These four are good. Uh, and then for the extra deck, so uh, you play Elder Anthony Nithis, uh, which going second is also definitely a reason he's playing it because Extra Foolish Burial. So Extra Foolish Burial will simply send the Nithis going second, so it'll either send that or Herald going second. Uh, it's pretty interesting though that he's not playing, uh, you could, I, I could see him playing a Dragma Engine, like a small one. Even just triple the Deer Servant and like one Ecclesia, so literally, literally something like that. Or one, triple, uh, triple that and like one floor. Literally just the floors level eight. It's like a free card and if you open a dear servant You could send a free herald, but again at the same time You can't use his extra deck So I wouldn't say that's very good for him because for this is not I actually take back everything I just said there because it's not like necros where you actually need that I don't need the extra deck here You need the extra deck deeply the deck goes very in so that's definitely why he's not playing the dragma cards Because uh, he needs the extra deck very badly here. So it's not like in past decks like the necros ritual uh, This megalith deck uses the extra deck an extreme amount. He fiber combos does everything uh next uh also plays so one savage one formula double herald one calamity you guys saw is very good one martial metal marcher one gallon granite this is very good part of the combo axis code also uh is, is good as well part just a uh, link two to use uh needle fiber phoenix unicorn we ain't losing going second link ross and union carrier so that's the deck here i'm a big fan of it i've seen it in action for one duel throughout the lcs and you were just clapping someone I saw the combo right there, as you guys saw. I saw another combo when my friend sent me. And this deck, I'm telling you guys, is absolutely legit. And we must respect Megalith moving forward. For all the Pantanal players out there, like I told you, I'll put in the work for you guys. I'll put in the work, man. I'll put in the work so you guys don't need to. I'll put in the work. I'll put in the work so you guys know how to destroy it. So as long as I know how to destroy it, you guys also know by default, by affiliate. Because I will tell you guys everything I know as soon as I figure out. That's the video, guys. Uh, the second place, Megalith deck. Anyone that knows Megalith, play it like this. And everyone that doesn't know Megalith, watch out, because this deck's legit. 
Hope you guys liked the video. Smash the like button if you guys got this far. Smash the subscribe button. We're almost at 32,000 subscribers. And if you guys like what you see, consider signing on Pendulum Training because I ain't no Megalith God, but I'm the Pen God. I can teach you guys all you need to know about Pendulums. And lastly, get a beautiful Troop Gaming Playmat on TroopGaming.com because no one's going to drop calamities and cast max on Troop Gaming Playmat on TroopGaming.com. Hope you guys liked the video. See you guys in the next video. Peace. Yeah,